we're at the Rent Falls parking lot here. We got Joe, Mike, Bob, and Dale. We're just getting ready to head out. We're doing the tool discussion. What tool we need, what tools we don't need, uh, stuff like that. Ready to go. All right. So uh, that's what we're doing. Getting ready to go over here to uh, uh, on the other side of the Thomas Bridge and we're kind of doing what I'd say brushing up or polishing up. You know the trail's built through there but in some places it's kind of rough. So, and we didn't know exactly, sometimes we don't build stuff because uh, we don't know exactly where Bill Menke's uh, going to build uh, bridges and stuff like that. So sometimes we leave little areas a little rougher and then, I said today is the cleanup day to polish up those little places that are a little rough. So here we go. We're coming up on uh, Run Falls very soon. I imagine it's going to be low. Uh, yeah, but there's the river down there. And the North Country Trail's right there. You can see a blue blaze. Alrighty. It's right over here. If I walk right here, it's parallel to this road. If I walk right here, um, and there's the Tyler Forks. I walk right here, I'm on the North Country Trail. Alright, here we go. We're coming up to uh, they were again they went on a beer run. The, uh, this is the biggest thing of all. The, they went on a beer run. Well, they sent these people out to get beer from Little Bohemia. You know what happened? Well, he's well, uh, Joe spinning a yarn. Here we're coming up on the Bill Thomas Bridge right here and on the other bridge uh, I've got a little sign here giving you I didn't take any photos or a video of Ren Falls so we kind of skipped it we have like a little shortcut uh, that we can get down here faster and there's the river going towards the campsite campsites down there about a hundred yards and then here's uh, the signage here uh, oh well I don't like this arrow right here uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna do something about that we're coming up to this new bridge that the rubbing crew made this is what do you think that's about half a mile west of Run Falls? Oh, I, I, yeah, at least that. Maybe three quarters of a mile. Uh, you go up, you pass a uh, little fourth road, and then you eventually get to this. So, yeah, I think it's a little bit more than a half a mile. It's probably three quarters of a mile. And we're continuing on. We're on this new boardwalk that the rovers the roving crew made right here. Um, it's, I believe we're coming up on, yeah, it's just east of the Porcupine Hill campsite. So I see another bridge over there. I think that's the bridge, right? Yeah, I see uh, the signposts for the campsite right over there. So we're kind of, I might as well just keep it rolling here. And uh, so those two structures there are brand new. The, that boardwalk and the bridge before. And then this is a huge bridge over this creek here. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I remember it, yeah. And there's the campsite going that way off into the woods over there. I think I'm going to set my 
tools down okay. here. And yeah. all we need white blazes to the campsite. Yeah. We yeah. Have white we'll have to bring them so, yeah, because I don't know where. Oh, it's got pink ribbons here. That's where you follow. You got to follow. We need white blazes from the North Country Trail to the campsite instead of these ribbons. And you come back here in the piney woods and uh, here's the campsite here and there's the fire area right there, the bench, a bench and then there's the table bench and then the creeks right there. Somebody piled up some firewood over. You're, you're camping right next to, I guess this could, if you had a small tent, you could camp right there next to the creek. Uh, there's some more uh, tent pads right there. And then there's plenty of firewood here. Uh, then down this path, here is the latrine. So, uh, like I said, a uh, nice campsite. This is the Porcupine Hill East campsite at Leodwell bench and bench table and uh, they said we need some white blazes white on the North Country Trail white blazes uh, stand for side trail so uh, we've got this side trail here that's marked by pink ribbons so and now uh, Mike's looking at the logbook. <coughs> I need a drink of water to see. Uh... So what do we got in there, Mike? Well, the, the rovers were here in October 11 through 15. And so they posted in there. And then Bill Mankey brought his wife back, uh, Donna, on the 18th. And they hiked it. But here's a couple of posts, one on October 19th. says, stayed at the new memorial campsite by Ren Falls last night. Today I complete the last section of my multi-year section hike of the Wisconsin NCT. Damn, this is a beautiful, this is beautiful. Happy trails, alligator. Alligator. Did you meet Alligator? Uh, I don't know who that is. Oh, I, I think I had seen something about that person hiking. And then on 1027, uh, says, I'm hiking and GPSing the new trail between Ren Falls and County Line Road. Thank you, NCT Association. Ian Shackelford. Ah, Ian. Everybody. Or Shackle 4? Shackelford. Ford. And does he live in... Uh... A member of our i group. All right. Okay. Yeah. I wonder what he's going to do with that GPS reading. Maybe it's for the off. Yeah. Does he do, do that he's just got for himself or does he share that with somebody? He shares it on iCore. Okay. You can go to the iCore website and see it. Oh, nice. Yeah. He's got maps and GPS out for 29, uh, 29 maps of them yeah. At, yeah. at our meeting. At our meeting. Oh, wow. All right. Well, Ian, thank you very much for helping yeah, promote uh, the North Country now. Trail. Ian does everything. So I appreciate that. And uh, here's the bridge over yeah. the creek, Botanism I guess. With, uh, Ottawa National Forest. Oh, so he's actually a worker, like works for the first service? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Wow. He's an employee. So that's great, and um, like I said, this bridge has been here for a while. It looks like it uses the pans here. Yeah. So there's uh, uh, the pan for the bridge, and like I said, if it sinks down in there, we can jack it up and change the uh, settings on it, drill new holes, etc. So that's one advantage to that. Alrighty, we're on our lunch break. I'm going to show you some of our work here. Um, but the guys are on our lunch break. Here's Dale. How are you doing, Dale? Real good. Doing good. Nice day. We got Bob over here. Hi, everybody. You got any words of wisdom? Not, not really. I mean, I'm just amazed at 
the weather and no snow in, in Iron County at this time of the year. That they had uh, snow in uh, Ironwood, didn't they? Yeah. In Ironwood, Hurley. Okay, here's Mike. Good afternoon, everyone. Beautiful day up here. Should have been here. Yeah, yep, it certainly is. How was it last month? Was it good too? It was wonderful last month. Okay, sometimes it's better uh, in November than it is in October. Okay, so here's a spot right here we've been working on where Mike put an embankment here. And uh, here's another little like rock embankment. And here's Joe over here eating his tomato. How you doing, Joe? Fine. Fine. He's busy eating. Busy eating. Yeah. So here we're going down the trail. I want to show you a spot down here that I've been busy. You got this spot right here where I've been taking my lunch. Uh, it's this moss-covered rock, and we're coming right next to it. Uh, but we had to—I had to take some uh, rocks out of here. Here they are. All these three rocks, four rocks, were in the way here. So um, that's what I've been working on, and then we've been working down this way, taking stumps out and stuff like that. So we're up here, this is Porcupine Hill, and that's the view, it's a pretty incredible view, right there, going to the north. I have marked off a spot for perhaps a, an overlook. Um, right in here, come in here, and uh, come down here. And I got the uh, ribbons marking this. And uh, what I'd have to do is go down the hill and cut off, a, cut down a few trees and get the pole saw, cut down some limbs. And there's a nice view of a little hill over there in the distance with a little tip on it. So that's good. This could, like I said, this is kind of a rock slab here. Uh, that I thought might be good, uh, a good spot for an overlook. But again, uh, we have to cut the overlook in, cut the vista in, uh, which requires cutting down a, a few trees. But um, we've done it before in several locations. That's a common practice. How you doing, Mike? Taking a water break, I think that's what I'm gonna do as soon as I get back to my backpack down here. Here, Bob's uh, up here, he's right next to one of the rocks. I find, the, oh, there's one right there. And here's some more right here. And Bob was helping me take the, take the rocks out, so. Yes, indeed. We, uh, we're a team here, the ones that are too big like that one, and there's one over here. Uh, he was uh, helping me pry it, and I grabbed it and grabbed it out. We're finishing up and we're packing out. So, um, coming up here, the, the top of this hill here is the uh, fire tower footings. So, uh, I'm gonna take this little forced road out. I think. Hopefully it's not so bad we can't follow it. Anyway, there's the fire tower footings up there. And we're going to go right by them here, but we're going on the other side of the uh, fire tower footings in the trail. We're taking this little road because the trail kind of S's around and this is a little bit steeper but uh, we'll get a good shot of the fire tower footings here. Oh, it looks like that's part of the bottom of the ladder that you used to have to go up. Oh well. We're gonna keep going on this little road. We are at Ren Falls. 
here right there I got my tools with me it's running pretty good it's running very very good and that's the North Country Trail kind of going on the escarpment there alrighty and uh, we got some turkey dinner waiting for us by Bethany and there's where the North Country Trail starts up and this is kind of like the outcropping for Wren Falls you can look right down at it but uh, I got a little shot at it that's good enough here's the grub at the heritage chapter Thanksgiving dinner by Bethany there she did a swell but we worked hard today we earned it Oh yeah, and I'm so and grateful uh, you all came. So um, we got our Thanksgiving dinner here, wow, and uh, we got some country music playing and uh, some games to play later, maybe. We'll see what happens. Alrighty. It's Sunday morning in November, and we're cleaning tools. Uh, and putting them away for the year. So that's what we're up to. We're also working on these signs right here. Up here in Copper Falls State Park, this is the spot where right over there's the edge of the rim right there. And if you go straight past Joe, you can go down in the, the oxbow part of this park. But, uh, we got this sign up that Rita Oswald made for us, uh, giving the mileage just, uh, you know, all the way out to 169. Joe came out and helped me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. And do you have anything to say, Joe? Uh, it's November. We'll look at the woods. I'm yeah, gonna... we're looking into the woods. It's and... great to be out here. Yeah, the thing is, is that... Uh, the hardest part of it was the walk, right? No, it's not hard when you're in a woods like this and, and yeah. a day like this and it's warm and it's, uh, you can smell the leaves and... Yeah, and I mean as far as the views. putting up the sign that didn't take very much. Uh, getting in here was was a little bit of a walk, maybe 40 minutes or something like that. If that, tomorrow I'll be all over in the woods walking, a lot more than this, many miles. so. Alrighty, yeah, he's been telling me about his adventures. We're finished with the work weekend. I just came out to look at the Loon Lake Beach uh, and the surrounding areas here. Here's some benches. The North Country Trail goes onto the road right there. Uh, and this is kind of the North Country Trail here through the parking lot. Um, it starts up again way on the other side of that parking lot there. Uh, but just coming down, taking a look uh, one last kind of look at the lake uh, for this year. We had a good uh, we had a good work weekend, and uh, yesterday we built uh, over a tenth a mile of a uh, trail. So uh, that was really good. Got we're over there on the Porcupine Hill, which is a spectacular spot. And uh, it's going to be a great trail through there. Just very, very scenic. Um, and then last night uh, we had a nice turkey dinner thanks to Bethany. She made a great dinner for us. and. Uh, this morning I uh, went out and put up uh, some signs, so everything uh, and the rest of the people were cleaning tools for the year. So um, that's the trail that goes out the granite, uh, Red Granite Falls right there. And uh, so see you on my next adventure.